Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the locations of army bases, bunkers, hidden underground areas that could be used in the upcoming Grand Theft Auto Online gun running military style DLC. So there's a couple things here that we don't know. We don't know if the gun running military update is going to be a part of CEO, or if it's going to be a part of the MC Biker, or if it's going to be its own thing, like you create your own militia. Regardless, there's going to be a need for more, I guess if you can see my air quotes, warehouses. The CEOs have warehouses, the biker stuff has the drug facilities, methamphetamine lab, weed farm. So it's pretty clear that there's going to be something for the militia here in terms of like a base or a bunker or a camp. And in today's video, I'm going to be going over all the locations in Grand Theft Auto 5 currently that would be perfect and could have some awesome features to go along with it as well. So before we get started with any of the locations today, a user on the GTA forum Sleepwalk1980 posted this image right here, and he described that anywhere inside the red zone would be great for our militia bases. Now, there are some areas that I think shouldn't be excluded, like he has Fort Zancudo excluded in some parts of Grapeseed, but for the most part, I generally agree. I'd want to see the majority of these bases outside of the city and more exploring Polito Bay, Blaine County, and Sandy Shores, more of the neglected areas of the map. And I think that a military DLC would be perfect for Rockstar to put some really nice features up there that require us to go up there and explore and take us away from the city. So probably the most obvious location here would be Fort Zancudo. How cool would this be? This would be like the creme de la creme, the best of the best army base and bunker that you could buy and afford in Grand Theft Auto Online. And the reason I say Fort Zancudo is for many reasons. Number one, there's like a little underground bunker that can actually be found in Fort Zancudo that has like a working elevator. And this could be pretty awesome if you want Wanted like a discrete underground army base. So that's one example right there that could be perfect. Another example that could be pretty cool is all of the closed and open hangars. So for example, our militias could rent out a bunker in Fort Zancudo and then operate out of those. So the, like I said, there's many closed ones in games that you can't see inside. And on top of those closed hangars, there's also a bunch of other like garage bays that can be found in the back of Fort Zancudo as well that you kind of seen me explore right now. This could be cool for bringing in vehicles, bringing in cargo. Uh, there's mini garage door openings. There's doors that we can go in as well. And there's also open hangars as well. You can see this Air Force base right here. Who's to say we couldn't operate out of one of the existing open hangars that are already present here in Fort Zancudo? So that would probably be the number one choice right there for me, Fort Zancudo. There's so many potential here in terms of hangars, garages, places to store cars, cargos, vehicles, and more. And what's also great about this is Fort Zancudo Kudo could offer some awesome opportunities as well. The big hangars would be perfect for customizing high-powered military vehicles or Pegasus cars or anything along those lines. You could also get access to the fort with zero stars. So this could be pretty cool if you start a militia and you choose Fort Zancudo as your base. Now entering the base won't get you any more stars when you uh, go within its boundary. So that could be really cool right there. Fort Zancudo, probably one of the most obvious selections for an army base or military bunker. Moving on to the second one right here, and this is the altruist camp. So you might not think a bunch of naked hippies out in the woods would be a great place to set up an army military bunker, but you'd be surprised the sort of gear that these naked old hippies have. I mean, let's just go inside some of their little cabins right here. You can see RPGs on the ground. You can see assault rifles. You can see containers that look to be filled with ammo, rounds, explosives. There's oil barrels all over the place. Now, I'm sure some of that is just cosmetic, but there's all these little houses and little forts that you could go inside. So I really do think that the altruist camp, although it wouldn't have the supreme military technology that Fort Zancudo has, would be an awesome location to run a really cool bunker or base out of. So that right there would be pretty cool. And I would love to see what Rockstar could be able to do with something like this, turning the altruist camp into an epic military base for us to use for our militia needs. All right, now I've got two locations that are actually inside the city limits, but I still wouldn't be disappointed if these were the locations. The first of which is the Merriweather docks. So in general, we could be working with Merriweather. They like might be our contact to get us started with our militias. So this one could make a whole lot of sense right here. And this dock is actually very interesting. There's obviously a bunch of black ops soldiers roaming around here. There looks to be building some sort of giant submarine vessel as well. You've 
You've obviously got the port right here. You've got helipads that can be utilized on the outside. So there's a lot of great things here that could be used as a military outpost right here. And this is the Meriwether docks that can be found really pretty much on the most southern part of the map. So this would be pretty cool if they had this location and then some really far locations up north. But the Meriwether docks nonetheless would be awesome based off of the environment it's in, but also based off of the things that are going on around it and inside too. That would be pretty epic. Another thing that would be pretty epic would be an underground bunker. And I think the perfect utilization of an un underground bunker has to do with this mine shaft door that can be found directly outside of Trevor's airfield. So if you actually go to this mine shaft door, you can't blow it up, you can't destroy it. And if you go inside, it isn't much deeper than just like a three foot little hole. And underneath there, there's absolutely nothing. This would be the perfect opportunity for Rockstar to transform something like that into an underground base or bunker for our army and militia needs. That could be incredibly cool. I'm not sure of any other locations like this that would be cool for using a underground base. This one just came to my mind because I remember exploring this a long, long time ago and wondering really what was behind that. So I think an underground bunker would be pretty cool. It could also be a great way for Rockstar to be a little bit more creative Creative and not limited with the buildings that are already in the game. Now, another thing that would also be amazing would be a mountain base. So there's two locations that I think would be perfect for this. Of course, the most popular one would probably be on the top of Mount Chiliad, just with all the lore and all the mystery that goes along with that mountain itself. It's also the tallest and most reputable. And what's also pretty crazy is there is a ton of GTA 5 mods that feature mountain bases like this. Uh, I'll put a couple examples on the screen right now so you can see them. It's absolutely crazy some of the things that people are able to do and create all these mountain bases and the ones that stick out of the, you know, outside of mountains. That would be really cool. But also there's another part of Mount Chiliad that is rather interesting. Inside of the tunnel, there's these very mysterious doors called T01 and T02. And they look to be doors that head inside of the mountain. Could Rockstar end up utilizing these for an army or military bunker or base? That could actually be so cool right there. I'd love to see if Rockstar could do that. I remember a long time ago, players were trying to like find out what was behind those doors. Well, maybe finally with this gun running update, Rockstar will finally have a use to add something behind those doors. So that could be pretty cool. But also another mountain, Mount Gordo, would be another great use as well. Because on the top of Mount Gordo, there's two things. There's these like giant antennas. And then there's also this like little tiny building that's barbed off by this high fencing. This could be pretty great as well. If we were to use a mountain base like this, you would enter through this facility that would basically take you down into an elevator inside of the mountain itself. So if I had to choose two locations for mountain bases, Mount Gordo and Mount Chiliad would certainly be the best bets there, and they could definitely have some very interesting and unique aspects. Another location that could be pretty cool is the hangars at Los Santos International Airport. So I can't see Rockstar allowing us to use Devin Weston's hangar because I feel like that would interfere with things that might occur in the campaign. However, if we go towards the back of the airport, there's a ton of hangars that are closed and open. So maybe we could end up purchasing one of these closed hangars and it would become open for us. And this, like Fort Zancudo, could also provide us some epic opportunities for Pegasus vehicle customization. In fact, there's multiple hangars that are Pegasus owned, like they have Pegasus logos on them, which would be perfect for customizing, let's say, a Titan or a Hydra or a Savage or any other of the new vehicles that Rockstar could add, like a Hunter or something along those lines. So that would, right there would be pretty cool. And even though it's a popular location inside of the city, we visit it nearly every day. I still think this would be cool enough, especially if they did all the hangar stuff that we would really still enjoy it. Now, I could also see Rockstar taking advantage of the buildings that are already in game, especially the ones in Grapeseed. So this one right here is just a barn. It's kind of like an auto shop that is like a, a farm in one. You can see on the back of the building it says autos and, and stuff like that this would be pretty great as well it's big enough where it could fit militarized style vehicles we could drive regular cars in there we could enter through a regular door so there's always the possibility that rockstar just go about using you know regular buildings in the game to suffice for something like this and not necessarily stretch us out into the military aspect of the game all that much although in my opinion it would be very disappointing if rockstar didn't take advantage of bases like for zancudo and stuff like that in an update like this because it would be absolutely absolutely perfect. Now, this one is a little bit more far-fetched, but I did see some people talking about how the dam 
could be another awesome military base, which is actually pretty cool. If you guys have never been to the dam, there's a lot of little like buildings and ladders and places you can go into that are actually really fun to explore. So the more I think about it, the more that there is a good chance that the dam could end up being used here. Like I said, I'm not really too sure where your like base of operations would go or where your vehicles would be. To me, this one is the most far-fetched of them all. And then moving on, we've got the government agencies. So this would be pretty cool to have like an office in the IAA building or in the FIB building or in the Humane Labs. We know how closely connected these agencies are to the events of the campaign, but also what you did in online with Heist. So it wouldn't be surprising to see them do something like this for a Grand Theft Auto Online military style DLC. Now, if the government agencies aren't used, I could also see Rockstar just scattering us in various houses and buildings and facilities throughout the world of Los Santos. But like I mentioned earlier, I really want them to take advantage of more of the most iconic places in the game, Fort Zancudo or the Altruist Camp or the Meriwether Docks that would not only make sense via the personnel there, but would also make sense for the location as well and all the facilities and features and buildings that could come along with it. But anyways, that's all the information that I'm going to be talking about for you guys in this video today and all the locations that I think would be perfect for secret army bunkers and bases and all the features like Pegasus customization that could certainly come along with it. I'd love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. Where do you think Rockstar could add military bases or bunkers or facilities that we are ultimately going to use in this gun running update? I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go and enjoy the video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.